good morning everybody today we are going to discuss about the concept of uh, sedimentary facies sedimentary facies can also be uh, explained by the term sedimentary environments or sedimentary depositional environments sedimentary facies actually is a technical word but in a layman term you can explain it as the environment in which the sedimentary rock is forming and of course sedimentary rock uh, deposition can be done in different different kind of uh, environment depending upon the agencies and depending upon the uh, basin so let us see what the concept of sedimentary facies is sedimentary facies are bodies of sediment that are recognizable recognizably distinct from the adjacent sediment that resulted from the different depositional environment so this is uh, very essential to understand that uh, actually what we are talking about is the distinct sedimentary layer but that distinct sedimentary layer actually represents the distinct depositional environment so if we find a distinct depositional layer in our field with respect to the other sedimentary layers we have in the periphery then in that case you can say that this distinct uh, sedimentary layer is the specific sedimentary facies and of course if it is distinct that means it would have formed or it, it would have deposited in a distinct depositional environment so in sedimentary facies distinct depositional environment is very important so the why the sedimentary uh, deposition occurs in different kind of uh, distinct depositional environments it's but obvious as we know that there are different kind of agencies on earth surface which can carry uh, sedimentary loads like wind uh, glacier is there Uh, water is there okay so on the basis of agencies and on the basis of uh, basin available the sedimentary environment alters and because of which the distinct beds are developed so each and every distinct bed represent the sedimentary facies so we can classify these sedimentary facies on a broader term as well as we can classify them in quite uh, minute terms like in like say for example if you have a depository basin of a, a deposition made by a river we can also further classify that uh, depositionary pattern in subfacies but on your uh, level we should we will discuss only the basic uh, division of these sedimentary facies so one must understand first the sedimentary facies is nothing but the sedimentary depositional environment represented by the distinct sedimentary bed this is very important to uh, remember fluvial facies now see we have classified them on the basis of different agencies okay it's very it's a very uh, this classification is very layman classification it is not so much technical but for your uh, understanding as it is a basic uh, level uh, session you can just uh, you can just uh, go through the basic classifications to just develop an understanding so fluvial facies the sedimentary bed or the layer deposited under the fluvial environment can be classified as a fluvial facies so what actually happens here as you know that the fluvial system fluvial means river system river system carries load with it okay after weathering the sediments are carried by the river okay it uh, goes on eroding those sediments as well as simultaneously river transports the sediment to the depository basin so river is acting as an agent of erosion and transportation simultaneously during its erosion and transportation wherever the velocity of the sediment where 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 the velocity of the river is checked the sediments precipitates because the carrying capacity of the river finishes or lowers down as the sediments deposited there there is a development of the sedimentary beds over there so 
those sedimentary beds which are formed under the influence of river can be referred as fluvial basins so if you will find a sedimentary bed in the field and if you will see that there are certain evidences of fluvial system in that case you can identify that this sedimentary bed was formed under a fluvial system and once you identify the sedimentary facies you can ultimately explain lots of about the lot of about the environment of that region because you know that if the, there is a river then a set of certain environmental parameters has uh, would have made that river to flow so ultimately the sedimentary facies tells a lot about the environment of that uh, depository time let us see another facies this is a lacustrine facies lacustrine refers to lake so as the sediment deposits in the river system similarly the sediments also deposits in the uh, lake system where the incoming water from the higher areas brings sediments and they deposits on the floor of the lake so in that case those sedimentary beds or the layers which are developed at the Uh, bottom of the lake will definitely have a different kind of appearance or different kind of texture so this is very important to understand okay because it is but obvious that the uh, the fluvial facies and the lacustrine facies will have a different kind of uh, sedimentary beddings and because of which you can classify them that this bed belongs to the lacustrine facies or this bed belongs to the uh, fluvial facies because both will have a different kind of uh, texture or say orientation or the arrangement so lacustrine is also a very important facies where the sedimentary bed can develop now old eggs lakes are very small but uh, if you go to prehistoric time you may get a big or the mega sized lakes uh which actually uh, you know act as a big sedimentary basin where the sediments are deposited and accordingly we have lots of evidences of such kind of depository evidence and depository environments the third one is the marine facies the marine facies is quite common because as you know that the lots of uh, ocean oceans were there in our prehistoric time or in our geological time scale and during that the sediment sediments brought from the land with the help of river are deposited in the uh, marine environment because you know that river empties herself in the ocean so of course it will also uh, you know will supply the sediments to the ocean and ultimately those sediments will get deposited on the floor of the uh, ocean and that depository environment can be referred as the marine facies and as you know that the uh, the river when merged with the ocean at that time the river is in her old age so if it is in her old age then of course it's the river's carrying capacity load carrying capacity would be different and accordingly the sediment supply to the marine environment is quite different and quite quite distinct so in that case you can ultimately identify that the uh, environment of the marine uh, you know the oceans are quite different and the sediments developed over there are also different so you can easily uh, if you have a basic knowledge of petrology you can easily classify the different beds just by observing them megascopically and uh, you can say that this this bed would have been formed under that environment or x environment or y environment so marine environment is a very important environment in sedimentary petrology because lots of rocks are available in the marine facies you can see here how the sandstone shell and limestone facies are divided it is just in a representative diagram which is not technical diagram you can see here the uh, the facies near the land is of sandstone facies at the sandstone have a coarser size of grains or the sand size of grains but if you go forward the shell facies 
is there means the uh, grain size of the sediments will go on decreasing and finally when you go forward of course the, there is no supply of sediments in the deep marine environment so in that case the limestone faces are there because due to the deposition of the dead organisms like dead ooze dead foraminifera their shells develop uh, limestone over there and hence they are represented as limestone faces the fourth phase is which we can uh, refer it as a terrestrial phase as you know that in the deserts the wind blows the sand okay the wind blows the sediments in the form of sand and of course those winds deposits those sediments or the load at some places where the uh, the velocity of the wind is checked so when those uh precipitated sediments on the land surface slowly get converted to the sedimentary rock in that case those can be classified as the uh rocks which are formed the terrestrial faces so terrestrial faces does not involve water or a marine environment or anything else this purely involves the action of wind or the eolian action where the load is sus suspended and it uh deposited somewhere where the velocity is checked and if the rocks are formed accordingly you know you can classify it as the terrestrial faces the terra, terra rosa is the best example you know the terra rosa is very well known uh, eolian deposits uh, i think it is in china so you can see that the faces of that terra rosa is terrestrial faces so this was all about the sedimentary faces it's very i have taught you uh, very superficially because in your syllabus it is at a superficial level so let us revise it what we have done so we have done a session of concept of sedimentary faces where sedimentary faces are bodies of sediments that are recognizably distinct from the adjacent sediments that resulted from the different deposition environment means here the faces is actually representing a depositional environment it is very important okay faces is nothing but the depositional environment if the environment alters the faces will alter then we have classified them on the basis of different uh, criteria like fluvial faces where the sedimentary rocks are deposited under the influence of river like estuarine faces where the sedimentary environments uh, is controlled by the lake environment marine faces where the sedimentary deposits are in the uh, ocean or the sea also called as marine faces and the terrestrial faces where the uh, wind plays a crucial role and when the velocity of wind is checked the deposits are formed sedimentary faces is a very crucial uh, you know um, subject in sedimentary petrology because it not only tells about you it not only not only tells the sedimentary environment of that uh, time but also tells much about the general environment of that region so ultimately sedimentary faces are quite important in the paleoclimatic studies those geologists who are working on paleoclimates definitely does not or do not neglect the sedimentary faces if they are available in that area sedimentary faces tells a lot about the environmental factors this was all about the concept of sedimentary faces which was very basic concept so thank you very much for your patience listening if you have any question you can put your questions in the chat box and if you feel that you have any queries regarding the earlier classes or the classes uh, or the class or the today's class you can put your query through the remedial uh, coaching uh, mechanism i'm sharing the link of the remedial coaching mechanism you can put your query in it and uh, of course it will be resolved as soon as possible thank you very much for your patience listening thank you